time to cut out your pattern. Before you do so, I want you to find the page uh, with the test square and measure to make sure that it, it is two by two inches. If it's not, if it's bigger or smaller, um, that means that your printer enlarged it or reduced it when printing. And you wanna go back and make sure that it's not set to scale and that it's printing at 100%. Um, now there are several pages with the Raquel Bralette um, pattern on it. And this is gonna serve as your guideline because you are going to um, cut off the edges um, with this half circles on them. And then you're gonna align them um, so that they line up. So here are three pages. I am going to cut the right edges off of these pages right along the black line. I'm gonna leave the left edges on. Um, it'll make it easier to tape them together. Once you've cut off the right edges, I really didn't need to do it on this page, but I did it anyways. Um, you are going to align the dots, the half circles or the half dots, um, and then tape them together. So for these three pages, well, there's one dot here and there's one dot there. So I've aligned them. Then I'm going to use um, tape to tape the pages together. I'm using a double-sided tape. Um, I prefer that over regular tape. And you're going to lay this down so that the half circles or the half dots line up. And then once you've done that, um, it can get a little tricky trying to um, match up all the dots. So this page right here is the master pattern. So it'll show you where all the pages should go and be super helpful. Um, once you have all the pages taped together, you will cut out your um, Raquel bralette in your size. Once you've cut out your pattern, it's now time to cut out your fabric. But before we do that, I want to go over the pattern pieces that you should have cut out, where they are on the Raquel, and what fabric they'll be using. The first pattern piece is the bralette front, the bottom portion. This is the bralette front pattern piece, and this is where it is on the Raquel. This will be using the main fabric and then the lining fabric. The next pattern piece is the bralette front, the top portion. Um, this will be using a scalloped lace lined with the uh, stretch mesh, um, and this is the bralette front top portion on the Raquel. The other pattern piece is the back band, um, and on the Raquel, self-explanatory, this is the back band. This will be using the main fabric and the lining fabric. And the last pattern piece that you should have cut out is the bottom ruffle. And this will just be using a uh, galloon lace unlined. Now that you know what pattern pieces go where and what fabrics they'll be using, it is time to finally cut your fabrics. So I'm gonna be cutting out the pattern pieces that use the main fabric 
and the lining fabric. Um, and for the Raquel, it is the bralette front and bottom and the back band. You might have noticed that the pattern I'm using in this tutorial says Sam Bralette. Um, I was being a little indecisive, um, and before I named it Raquel, it was actually named Sam, um, but Sam and Raquel are the same thing. Um, so, you will also see now how I use Otis 505 Temporary Spray Adhesive. I use this a lot in bra making. Um, so, cutting fine fabrics such as stretch mesh, stretch lace, um, can be very difficult, a lot of shifting, a lot of moving, um, especially when you're dealing with lining, things don't match up. Um, so to make it easier, I will spray baste um, the fabrics together before I cut out, um, which I'm going to do for the bralette front bottom piece and the back band. And to do that, all you do is you spray You will give it a firm but gentle pat down. I like to lift them both up to make sure that the adhesive didn't get through to my cutting mat um, and then I'll do the other side. You can do this, I'm doing it on a cutting mat, but you can do it on a piece of paper um, so that you don't uh, get your cutting mat all sticky. Sometimes we save some extra paper and cardboard here at the studio and use that um, when uh, using any type of like spray glue. Um, so once I've spray raised them together, um, I am going to cut out finally. Um, this the back band is on the fold, um, so I'm going to cut this out using my rotary cutter. And I think it's an easy enough cut, small enough cut that I don't need um, pattern weights. I have also transferred my pattern to oak tag. Um, if you don't know what that is, it is a heavy weight uh, paper. Um, I like to do that with my patterns if I'm going to use them over and over again, which I sew all my patterns over and over again. Um, but it's easier, it'll last longer than regular computer paper, so it's on oak tag. Um, so you're going to cut it out the same way for the bralette front top, or the bra bralette front bottom portion, excuse me. Um, so once those are cut out, let's now cut out the lace uh, portion. So on the Raquel, you have two lace um, portions, the bralette front top, and then the bottom ruffle. So let's start with the bralette front top. So you are, this portion is going to be lined. So I have two of them cut out here as examples. Um, but you are going to, want, you want to align the lining with the high point of the scallop. So there is a high point and there is a low point. And you want the lining to line up with the high point of the scallop. Um, you also want, when cutting it out, this bottom edge does not have seam allowances. All seam allowances on the rest of the bra are a quarter of an inch, um, but right here there are no seam allowances. So when you're cutting this out, you want the bottom edge to align again with the high point of the scallop, which you can see here. The next lace uh, part to cut out is the bottom ruffle. Um, so that is unlined, there's no lining, um, and you are going to cut that out of just one layer of green lace. I have one here already cut out. Um, so the straight edge is going to go on the, the one's going to work better, um, the straight edge is going to go on the high point of the scallop again. Um, and you also want to make sure that at the front portion, there is, let me bring this over a bit. At the front portion, um, this is going to be sewn into here. Uh, so you want to make sure that you have at least this port. So you, you don't want to cut it right here. Um, you, wanna, you want there to be at least 
um, a half of an inch um, at the center front.